Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy E Double here, back with another episode of Pokemon Gaia Version. I do believe this is episode 3. Um so as you noticed right there when I pulled up the uh, the menu, things are a little bit different. So I came here, sat down like about an hour ago, uh, ready to record and whatnot. Unfortunately, stupid little me, stupid little afro me, um, I forgot to save my game. And so I had to replay from all the way back from when everybody was like level 6 or something like that. Way before I caught the Clefairy, or right before I caught the Clefairy, but before anybody had got any sort of levels. Um, so, pat on the back for me, finally caught up and whatnot, but, um, yeah, so that's why the levels are a little bit, actually, hang on, I like, I like having my starter higher level than everybody, but then I also like him, like, in the back of the party, so, we're gonna do a team recap, since I haven't done one yet, we got Thuggin, our Scraggy, you got, whoa, I'm tripping, serious nature there, so that's, uh, neutral nature, not too bad, then you got Grand Ice, Brave Nature. I believe that is up attack and then minus speed. Um, Grand Ice, our Rock and Roller here, which is sturdy. Uh, I, no, there's no point in me going over the moves. All the moves are going to be the same. Um, we still have Candy, our Clefairy and everything. And this time around, she is Bashful Nature. So, I mean, yeah, there we go. Uh, neutral Nature, so I can't really complain about that. Then we have Kruger, Sassy Natured Drillbird. Uh, wow. Okay, yeah. Um, I, I guess that really sucks, because that's, Drillbird's supposed to be, um, or Excadrill is supposed to be a really fast mod, so, really, really disappointed with that. But then we got that loud Whismur, with, uh, Timid Nature, so plus speed and, uh, minus attack, which, I don't know how I feel about the minus attack, honestly, but whatever. Um, because, like, you gotta think of Nature's in a different way when you're thinking about, um, Let's Plays, you know? It's not like they have to be have super competitive Nature's or anything like that, so, like, in a let's play uh, it's kind of okay for a whismer to have um lowered attack but then that just means that you have to like run uh, a lot more of the the special moves you know so i mean whatever and then we have our starter babylon a turtwig soon to be the oh so glorious torterra quirky nature so plus special defense and oh wait no my bad that's a uh, neutral nature so we got a lot of neutral nature no mons um yeah, Babylon ended up being 13 around, uh, this time around. Then, I never told you guys from the last time, I went ahead and caught some of the Mons, or all of the Mons that were chilling in the cave there. Um, so the last time I had Miss Jackson, you know, Geodude Weevil, uh, I'm pretty sure these nicknames are new, because some of these I forgot to nickname. Nightwing, then we have Herman, and then these two are new, because I had never seen these, um, Tottle and Voltaire. Voltaire, my bad. Uh, I had never seen these two mons the first time that I was playing through, and when I was uh, trying to go ahead and grind, you know, they, they popped up like, well, I only saw the Makuhita one time, um, for the one time, and I saw the Scraggy, I mean, not the Scraggy, the, um, the Voltic, like, two or three times, it, it came up kind of, kind of free for me. Uh, let me go ahead and get three of you, I'm good on you, wait. Okay, no, I'm not going to need you. Uh, no. No. Um, I never actually really used repels as a, as a kid, so maybe I'm going to... I think that's how I'm going to keep this, you know? So, oh, that's right. So, recapping, um, what's-his-face, the gym leader, Fernando. Fernando. He, he, he lost, um, actually this... This time, you know, off screen, um, fighting him was a, a bit easier than the first time I fought him. I didn't get nearly as blown back, um, but it was still really challenging, which is what I like, you know? And I actually, um, I don't know, I'm, I'm really into that. Like, I feel like there's a, a specific amount of difficulty that every uh, significant battle in a Pokemon game should have so that it's not so uh, such a breeze, it's not so boring that way. Um, and Fernando really delivered, and I also liked, which I never really thought about, uh, even though it's pretty like, duh, Eric, what the hell. Um, I liked that he had so many Mons on his team, even though he was the very first gym leader. That was awesome. Why did I just locate you? Wait, actually, does Fainita do anything? Wow. 
Yeah, I didn't know that, uh... Well, I guess I should have known that they resist that. Whatever. I don't know why I have Thuggin in here anyway. But, yeah. So, Fernando lost. And, you know, like I had pointed out the last time, he looks really freaking young. You know, he looks like a little kid. Um, probably, maybe even younger than our character is. And so he couldn't handle the fact that he lost. And he, he booked it. He was like, no, I'm not going to give you your goddamn gym badge. Fucking assholes. Yeah. Fucking Cartman style shit. Uh, did you know? Wow, Pokemon can be found in those patches of slot. Ooh. Nidoran. I think what I'm gonna try and do, um, not now, if anything, off screen, I'm gonna try and, um, catch, like, every Pokemon. Uh, I might not necessarily- There we go! Ooh! A Flabebe. I'll catch you. I'll catch you for the collection. Um, yeah, so, like, since this is my- gonna be my first thorough playthrough of Pokemon Guy, and not just, like, because I think I stopped shortly after here. I'm not sure how deep in um, I went exactly. But, yeah, I mean, like, I'm gonna go and- I'm gonna go ahead and try and catch every single Pokemon since it's like, why the hell not, you know? If I'm gonna go playing through this game and I wanna call it a thorough playthrough- God damn! Why couldn't you just let me fucking run away, man? But, uh... See? These lazy motherfuckers aren't even looking for anything! They're just sitting on their asses! I cannot be- Oh, dope, they're both here. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead- What? Can I not run away from anything in this goddamn game? Oh my god! Okay, Grand Ice, you- you can't lead. I'm sorry. I like you, but... Is there anything worth catching in this grass? Oh, whatever, I'll, I'll check later. This is Cerros Pass. Right. Wisp Forest in Cerros Village. Our eyes have locked battle. No, they fucking didn't. They did not lock. You see, like. So, tip in the future for anybody working on ROM hacks or anything like that, just a general fan game. Don't have lines like that if the NPCs are in positions where. You could easily run into them without making eye contact, because then it's, it's just stupid. Like, that guy, that's clearly just recycled script from the main series game. Okay, no hidden items. It's, it's, it's kind of like, you know, the, the ROM hacks are supposed to be um, the normal games with slight improvements here and there, you know? Like, make those improvements. Man, don't, don't have parts like that where... Shit just doesn't make sense. Ooh, here we go. La baby. It's Beyblade. Alright. Uh okay, so before I enter the forest, since I only have three Pokeballs, and I love me some ghost types, I'm gonna go ahead and uh stock up on balls. Whoop, boop, boop. So be right back. Okay, we are back in Wisp Forest. Wisp Forest, those unprepared, turn back now. Something so ominous. Alright, so these are just uh, differently textured uh, patches. Okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm a fiend for freaking hidden items. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'll go ahead and... like, I'll catch, If there's something in here that I really want then I'll catch it on screen. Otherwise, I'll try and hunt them all um, off screen. If there's like a rare Pokemon that I see on screen and I don't know it is, and I run away from it, you know, forgive me, because uh, that's more than likely going to happen. Uh, why do I, no, wait, Kruger can level up some. What, what was that noise? It was the sound of your legs fucking. I don't know what I was gonna say there. Uh, I'm gonna just shut up. <laughs> oh shit! Bide! Okay, Grand Ice, come in. Come through, come through. Come save the squad. <clears throat> Hard body, baby! Oh, but, oh, okay, cool. And overkill, because you're a dick. Venipede? Nah, we slay those. <laughs> Like, Rollout's gonna do shit to me. 
You know, I... I was just about to fucking say that. I was just about to say, I don't see why a pure rock type should be able to get poisoned. Because that doesn't make any sense in my mind. And here it is. Just fucking happened. So, there you go, Grand Ice. Uh, you need to make sure that you're nice and healed up because I know that I need you quite a bit. Hey, let's battle to distract ourselves from how scared we are. I don't know about you, but I'm not fucking scared. I know that there's nothing but Pokemon in these guys. So, I mean, if you're scared, then you're like, what is that, 30 feet away from the exit? Just get the fuck out. Anyway. <laughs> Why does Spinarak look like it kind of has like a lazy eye? Like one of them um, looks all the way to the to the left, and then the other looks like part way to the right. Oh shit! Man, this is annoying. Come on! No! Stupid Badoo! <sighs> Whatever. I mean, it's not like this is a Nuzlocke. Alright. Please just knock this thing out quickly. Wow, that thing's doing hella de- Oh shit, I just realized it's level 10. Whoa, 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 whoa. So I'm at the exact level I'm supposed to be. That's kind of a... Man, they climbed up here really fast. Ooh! Aww. Damn. Wisman really deserved that experience. That loud, not so loud anymore. Oh shit, a Shroomus? Shroomitch. I can't speak English yet. Hell yeah, I'm gonna get this. How you like this head? Rock hard. Solid. Nice and tough. Shroomish. It's a dick tip Pokemon. It prefers damp places. By day, it remains still in the forest shade. It releases toxic powder from its head. Okay. Um. I'm gonna name this thing Feng. Because I feel like that's a shooting nickname for a balloon. Like it. I mean, it, it kind of works, right? Okay, now if only I can get through. Hit it, item? Nope. Hit it, item? Nope. Nope. Damn it. Catch all bug types here. We catching bug types here, boy! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this para- oh my freaking god. Ah, this is annoying! God! I'm sick of going back to the Pokemon tournament. I honestly am. Level up. Thank you. Get back in your damn ball. Silcoon? Actually, I might stay- nope, nope. That loud. Hit you specially? You ain't gonna do anything. Harden all you want. You can go plus 12 on Harden. I don't care. I'm just really irritated right now by these fucking bug type trainers. I hate fighting bug trainers. Whoa. Have you seen a pumpkaboo? I hear they come in various shapes and sizes. So they're like boobs. Okay. Hey, Pumpkaboo. See, I wanna- I forget Grand Knight can't run from anything. Ugh. There we go. Matter of fact. Why Why do I even have Grand Knight in the front? He can't hit anything. Oh, a Phantom! I haven't seen a Phantom yet, so I'll try to catch this thing. Uh... Drillbur can hit it, right? With the mud flash. Okay. Parafusion. Great. Great, 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 great. This is totally fine. That's totally fine. Thank you. Oh my god. Kruger can't catch a fucking break. Okay, absorb. That's not gonna do anything. Wow. Okay. Whoa! So glad that wasn't a crit. 
Alright, and you are ma- What? What the actual hell? Get in your fucking- Get in the fucking ball. Now. Thank you. Phantom, the stump Pokemon. These Pokemon are created when spirits possess rotten tree stumps. It prefers to live in an abandoned forest. Alright. Uh, I don't know why, but... What do you evolve for? Trevent? Don't remember. But his name reminds me of the Revenant, as in the Leo DiCaprio movie, and so I'm gonna call him. Oh shit. Nope. I'm gonna call him Trevenant. That's probably not how you spell it, but you know what? That's what name raiders are for. Okay. Still feel so bad for Kruger. There you are! I'm, I'm sorry. I forgot his fucking voice. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I didn't mean it. I, I'm too s scared for apologies. Just take the mystic badge and let's go home. What a wimp gym leader. Quick, let's get out of here. Thank you for bringing my grandson back. We were so worried about him. Especially because he had no Pokemon. Anyway... I would like to give you this as a token of my appreciation. Hey, we have cut. Now I can further explore Wisp Forest. I want to thank you for knocking some sense into my grandson. He thinks- Oh, okay. Grandma, it's not like that anymore. From now on, I'm going to be like Eric. I'm going to be a cool, silent trainer. <laughs> Just call me Red. Now, I've got a gym to go run. Always need to get back to work. Hell so. Thanks again, Eric. Feel free to leave your Pokemon here if they ever need a rest. Awesome, thanks. Why did my menu open up? Speaking of which... Let me go ahead and uh, do this. Actually, no. I'll just go to the Pokemon Center. Screw that. Oh, is there anything in there I want to leave with them? Yeah, I'll, I'll leave uh, Zubat with them. Okay. Is there another Pokemon I want to leave? Nah. Not necessarily. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I did not notice that button. Awesome! Alright, so... Kruger, I'm sure, can learn Cut, right? Well, that's not a... I am freaking dumb sometimes. Yeah, Kruger can learn Cut. Awesome! Way better than Scratch, right? Okay, not way better, but... I mean, you catch my drift. Awesome. Actually, you know what? Kruger is gonna lead the party. Because he hasn't had a chance to shine. Oh. Okay. I don't know what I was thinking of. Sugar. Da! Now come on. What? Uh, I thought they would show up. There you go. Eric. Eric. That looks like the exit we were looking for. I'll go and get slim. Argentano. Woo! Whoa. This place is insane. How have I never found this before? Because you guys are fucking stupid. This tablet is fascinating. It looks a lot like the one in Archon Down, doesn't it? Hmm. These glyphs at the base, they seem familiar. Aha! I remember now. An old friend of mine used to study this language. His name is Herschel. He's a Pokemon trainer too. If we're going to translate this tablet, we we'll certainly need him. Last I heard, he was headed to Aeros, Aeros City to curate its museum. The two of you should go and find him. Alright, Eric. I'll race you to Aeris City. I'm not gonna race you. So, uh, there you have it. I do believe that's gonna be, like, a decent episode. Um, again, I'm not really sure how long I want these to be. Maybe they're gonna be 20 minutes. Maybe they're gonna be, um, they're probably gonna be closer to 30, honestly. Um, but right here is an okay spot for me to go ahead and uh end the episode so 
leave a like and comment down below if you uh, enjoyed today's episode. Uh, be sure to catch us later and uh, check out all the other content that we're going to be putting up here on Homeboy. So without further ado, I'm going to get up out. I'll see you later. Turn your pants to a disappearance. <laughs> Nothing but gangsters, nothing but hustler niggas. Sound off, sound off.